And with me now is Dr. Peter Uni, Professor of Epidemiology and Medicine at the University of Toronto and the Scientific Director of Ontario's COVID-19 Science Advisory Table. Good morning, Dr. Uni. Good to see you. Good morning. All right. So the masks can come off today. It's up to individuals to decide if they want to wear them. However, Dr. Tam says that she still recommends people mask up. Is dropping the mandate uh, right now the, the right move or do you think it's too soon? Oh, as long as dropping the mandate doesn't mean dropping the masks, we're okay. Uh, we don't, you know, just uh, need to see that as a black or white decision. That's important. If we continue to do things gradually as we did so successfully in the past and sometimes react swiftly as we did again, you know, when Omicron hit end of uh, the, the last year, um, we, we, we could be okay. The point really is we need to develop this culture or continue this culture of mutual respect. You know, we want to protect others in certain situations and ourselves. There will be people who will drop their masks now. But uh, what I understand from the discussions, but I may just hear, you know, from a selected uh, crowd of people, of course, a lot of people will just continue to, you know, just look as we go. Uh, things will become a much, much clearer the, the next two to three weeks. You know, we're just after March break. I had this discussion this morning with my two uh, little ones, you know, they're eight and ten, our smallest kids, and uh, we discussed the situation and they will go through, uh, Toronto District School Board also recommends that they will go with a mask and they will see how it how it goes. I think it will be much less uh, hot of an issue than, uh, you know, what we think it could be. Ontarians are reasonable people. It paid out tremendously. Ontarians are solidaric with each other. It's not such a big deal, I would believe. So we're watching what's going on in parts of Asia and Europe with the cases going up. And some are predicting that North America could see a wavelet or a mini spike in cases uh, later on this spring. What do you think about that? And how close are you paying attention to what we're seeing overseas? Yeah, we need to be careful, you know, it, the situations are really much different. So let's, it, where we want to go first, let's go perhaps to Europe first. What we see there is a lot of places where the behavior is fundamentally different from what we're seeing here, where, uh, for instance, my original home country, Switzerland, you know, they... Uh, lifted nearly everything 17th of February and people just behaved next day as if everything is normal. If we do that, we could see the same wave. Not related to BA2, it's related to our behavior. If you look at the situation, of course, you know, then in some Asian countries now, we need to be aware of there are a lot of um, um, situations there where the bet was originally on completely suppressing. Uh, you know, COVID zero is the key word here. And uh, now they just struggle um, in various, because of various reasons, you know, the, the age structure of the population and then, you know, the really challenging situation in Hong Kong because elderly people, uh, you know, distrusted the system because of China and then didn't get vaccinated. All of that is just resulting in a completely different situation than we have here. That's important to know. Now, the other part, and I talk a lot, but it's just important that people understand is there are there is a subvariant people don't talk about. There's not only BA1, which is the original Original Omicron, but there's this subvariant we call that BA11. This is already more transmissible than the original Omicron. So our step from BA11 to BA2 is not as big as the step experienced by several countries also in Europe from BA1 to 2, meaning we're a bit less concerned about that part as well. Again, bottom line, it all depends on us. If we do the right thing, we're good. Well, Relatively. Okay. Okay, okay. Dr. Yuna, thanks. And by the way, the rumor's true, you're leaving us? Yeah, it, I'm, I'll hang around a bit longer, but yeah, it's it was, you know, family plus a really great offer from the University of Oxford. Um, uh, I, I will really be heartbroken um, when it will be end of June. Our kids continue to go to school until end of June. And uh, then uh, we will be, we will stay connected very strongly. This has been a very, very good home for us. And uh, I'm, I feel very close, you know, to Ontario. But yes, we will leave end of June. Well, you mm. become a household name now. I, I know we'll talk before the end of June. But of course. All the best to you. Congratulations. That is, is Thank just you. an amazing, uh, amazing uh, move that you're going to be making. Dr. Peter Uni, Professor of Epidemiology and Medicine at the University of Toronto and the Scientific Director of Ontario's COVID-19 Science Advisory Table.